hear my shoes from what, in my opinion, could have been a mile away. I had thought about what my mom had said. Now, I don't want you getting your socks wet. You're going to Grandma's. I wasn't too worried about that. There wasn't enough snow on the ground. Psh, they'd never get wet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? What will Mom say? What will Mom do? The sound of my shoes trailed off as I sprinted toward the house, then loudly echoed as I entered the garage. My breath was like a smoky white puff in the garage and moved quickly as my breathing progressively grew faster. I went into the house. <laughs> Just throw them in the dryer, I thought, and grabbed new socks. She'll never know. I stopped in front of the dryer. Oh no. No, that would take too long. I continued on into the kitchen. I was panicking. What to do? What to do? Without a second thought, I grabbed a bowl from the shelf, took off the dripping wet socks, and threw them in. I went to the microwave and typed in 300, then start. I turned on the TV and paid no attention to the microwave to make it seem like nothing. After a minute and a half, I was glued to the TV, not paying any attention whatsoever to the rest of the kitchen. Then my dad walked in. The kitchen was filled with smoke. Oh, really? He said, rushing toward the microwave, and as he grabbed water to extinguish the fire from my flaming socks, I began to say, okay, okay, my socks are in there. Jess, what's in the microwave? Nothing, I tried to convince him. Then I looked up. Your socks? Why? In the Why? I then explained everything to him. In this, a valuable lesson was learned. Never, no matter what the circumstance, never put your socks in the microwave.